What is it about this place, though? That's oh, just think over the years, you know, going back to Fergus Slattery and Brendan Mullen and obviously Brian O'Driscoll. Yeah, there definitely is something. I think the I mean, combination of the coaches and, and the players here and the facilities we have, it, it certainly brings the best out of people. When I was a student here, this used to be the uh, P run. You just have to do this whole lap. Mm. Did you do that? I did my fair share of laps and the pitch is out back there. Oh, that's yeah, a tough one the whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gary. How are you? Good to oh, see you. How are you? Not too bad. You're making quite a name for yourself these days. Uh, he was just telling me that he based a lot of his attacking game on my, my uh, <laughs> oh style my God. of play. You've had no education at the moment, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Take care. Take Good it. luck on Friday. Good to see you. Thanks a million. He was always a very talented footballer. But as he got bigger, he moved further away from the base of the scrum, went to 10, went to full back, and then settled in the centre on his SCT year. But he just developed into a really comfortable, confident player. Well, what are your memories of seeing a couple of you here at Blackhawk? Good. Thankfully, we managed to, to win it in my year. I think what made it that little bit better was probably not being on the first team before. So it was only until final year I got a, I got a crack at the first, uh, first 15 and then managed to win it. Did you know then that the pro career was going to happen for you? Or? Probably not. I was enjoying the moment, um, winning it and stuff, but because I hadn't actually done any representative stuff for Leinster or Ireland while I was in school, I actually wasn't too disappointed. It was only till uh, after six years I got a trial or two and managed to kick on from there. 2013 you played in the school's cup final and now you go and have that autumn series, that incredible try against Australia. It's, uh, it's happened pretty quickly for you, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's been probably a little bit quicker than I would have envisaged or expected. How was the autumn? It was pretty special for, for myself. My family played uh, um, a bit more rugby than I would have expected or, or going into it. I mean, going over in Chicago was, to be included in the 23, was, was more than I'd ever imagined. And it was, there was a few injuries and, and stuff that kind of led to that. Uh, didn't actually get on, but managing to play in the, the other tests as well. I saw, again, it was all kind of through injury, that bit of luck um, that I got my opportunity, but it was, it was kind of a paint yourself moment. That 13 jersey then, be it for Ireland or Leinster or Black Rock, it's the Brian O'Driscoll jersey. How are you dealing with those comparisons? Uh, it's, I wouldn't really pay too much attention to it, I suppose. But it's a nice comparison. Come on, Brian had an all right career, didn't he? You know, I mean, you know, we do see it in it. I don't think there'll ever be another another Brian, so I'm not going to start trying to trying to be him or anything. So I'll just listen to what the coaches have to say and, and see where I can get better.